Hi guys, welcome to my eighth tutorial on XHTML and CSS. In this video tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to change the width of our table. Okay, so in the last video, we talked about we did a, a simple table and let's change his width. And we also learning what cell padding and cell spacing are. Okay, so open page one dot HTML with Notepad++ plus plus. and let's yes. okay and here it is here is uh, our table okay save this uh, let's see our table how, how oh, sorry let's run here in Chrome to see the table how it is okay this is our table okay so uh, I want to change his width so how do I do that I go next to border after border we give it a space and write the word width okay and then equals to a number that we're going to give uh, let's say let's give it a number uh, 300 so this uh, this means 300 pixels okay so we want the width of our board to be 300 pixels let's go to the to the browser and click um, refresh and you'll see now okay the border is 300 uh, pixels wide now okay so we can change it to whatever number in pixels we want okay um we can also give it a percentage a percentage sorry a percentage of um a percentage of wide of width uh, uh relative to our web page so if we want the table to be 100% wide relative to our web page it will um uh okay something oh I didn't save it okay it will be a hundred percent covering our uh, web page okay in our browser so even even if we change uh, here the size of the browser expand it okay the um, the wide the percentage of the width will be always the same or uh, the width of the p the table will be always the same okay as you can see here so you can use either pixels or the percentage now let's erase this width okay and leave it as it was before the table and let's see what cell padding is let's write cell padding equals and give it a 20 pixel number okay save this go to the web page the browser and refresh okay so these are the cells okay we call it cells as in Excel you know in Excel if you guys use Excel we call cells to the little to the boxes okay which we can write some um, content so in fact these are the TDs okay the table data stack okay the TD stack and inside them uh, let's see in the code inside of them here TDs TD TD tag inside we uh, wrote this content okay so the TDs are in fact cells so we have increased with cell padding we have increased the the size of the cell okay so we given a padding we have given a padding to the um, sorry let's see the code we have given a padding a 20 pixel padding to all the the cells okay so the cells will increase 20 pixels wide okay and um, and and all the same okay they they increased they have increased 20 pixels all at the same time they all increase 20 pixels so we can increase 
always to the number we want here okay to all the cells so we can control the cell size so now we're going to um, uh, use cell spacing and let's give it a number of cell spacing 20 pixels so cell spacing 20 pixels save it open the browser click refresh and okay something is different and the difference between cell padding and cell spacing is that cell padding will change the size of the of the cell itself and the cell uh, spacing changes the space or increases the space between each cell okay as you can see there's uh, a nice a little space uh, between each cell but the cells in themselves are uh, they all have the same size or the original size they first had so if we increase let's increase this to 50 pixels cell spacing as the word says cell and space so spacing each cell this increase the space between the uh, between each cell uh, let's refresh I think I saved it no save now refresh and okay it increases the space between each cell okay guys uh, I hope you I make it uh, clear for you but if you didn't understand something or have any questions please uh, send me a message or uh, post your questions in the comment section below okay guys see you guys later and don't forget to subscribe okay bye guys